One of the things that um, I most commonly have to deal with with clients is it's a, it's a really, really simple question. Right. And, and what happens is they'll come in and, and, and yeah. usually got a story, yeah. you know, sort of well rehearsed. Oh, this has happened and I want this and I want that. And you can tell it's, it's been the one that they've told again and again and again and again and again. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And the, the, the key question is, well, what stops you getting it? Yeah. And, and I'm sure you've seen this, just that absolute look of confusion. Yeah. And I was, um, I, 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 I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> but that's the thing, is it runs counter to the way most of us think. If I only was allowed two questions and I wanted to make a difference with somebody, the two questions I would have were, what do you want yeah. and what stops you? Absolutely. Because that pretty much sums it all up. And, and the thing about what stops you, that's, I mean, the way, here's the way that I'll sometimes explain it. If I wanted to, let's say what I want, what do you want? I want to get up and I want to walk out that door. What stops you? Well, that's the point, is unless I didn't actually want it, which is one of the possibilities, but I thought I should want it or I was supposed to do it, unless somebody jumps out from behind the camera or something like that, which is kind of a creepy thought, I can be honest, <laughs> but like unless something, like, I'm just going to do it. So if you're not already doing what it is you say you want to be doing, then there's got to be something that's stopping you. And what I've found in the work that I've done over the last 18 years now is, is it always comes down to one or two of nine things. Right. What stops you is either you don't have enough information. Right. You're, so you just don't know how to. Yeah. You, know, you don't have the information you need to move forward. What stops you, and, 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 and a way that you can, you can play with this is you can think about, okay, well, what's something I want, all right, and mm -hmm. what stops me? Okay, and is it? that you don't know what to do, which is a lack of information. Right. Is it a lack of skill? You know, sometimes we want to do something, but we're just not very good at it yet. When my son yeah. was first uh, playing baseball in America, we moved him here for, uh, to, to the U.S. from the U.K., and yeah. I made him play baseball because I'm a loving father. <laughs> Damn it. And, 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 and one of the things Third that, point. you know, he came to me after about a month, and he said, I, I, I hate this, I want to quit. And I said, why do you want to quit? And he says, because I suck at baseball. Yeah. And I think everyone, uh, you know, I'm the coach. They expect me to give him the go get him tiger speech. Sure. But I just said... Yeah, you're right. You do suck at baseball. <laughs> the question is, do you want to get good at it? Yeah. Because a lack of skill isn't a reason to stop. It's just an obstacle. And any obstacle can be overcome if you actually want to get where you want to go. Yeah. So if you've got the information, if it's not skill, sometimes it's belief. Okay. Sometimes we just don't believe that we can do it, so we don't try. Sure. What's the point? Well, it's, yeah, and a lot of people are scared of disappointment. Yeah. And yeah, you know, I, I bet better off you know, not to try. And, and again, it makes sense. It just doesn't actually let you get what you want. And if sure. you want what you want, that, that would be a shame. Yeah. So the fourth thing that it can be, so if there's information, there's skill, there's belief. The fourth thing is well-being. Sometimes people, they, they, they don't, I don't have the energy, I'm too sick, I'm too tired. And, and yeah, there are all sorts of things you can do, and I know you, you talk about a lot of them in this program, yeah. to boost your energy and, and, and deal with that. Yeah. Fifth thing is other people. Fifth thing that could stop me as well, I would, but he won't let me. Uh -huh. Or I would, but she, she wouldn't like that. Yeah. And, and again, there are all sorts of ways as you get more and more comfortable in being who you are and in living, I think we talked in one of these about being the diamond. Yes. You know, and in your own essence and in your own well-being, that becomes less and less of an issue because you're no longer looking for approval uh, for, from outside of you. And then the other people thing becomes a lot easier. Hmm. So information, skill, belief, well-being, other people, Motivation. That's another one. People will often say, well, what stops me is I'm just not motivated enough. Yeah. Usually comes down to one of two things. Lack of motivation is either just inertia. An object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. So yeah, it takes a little extra energy to get going on something if you haven't been doing it. Yeah. So it's not you, it's just physics. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, teacher, I didn't turn my... It's physics. It's, that's right. <laughs> but, but no, it is. It's, it, it is. It's essentially, true. it's just yeah. inertia. The other reason is you don't really want to. And that's back to what we're saying. You think you should do it, you know, or you think you have to do it to be a good person, but in fact, you really don't want to. No, because I often find that that whole sort of go get them tiger speech is, is only yeah. really required if you've set the wrong goal. Yeah, I mean, no, <laughs> nobody has ever had to, to, to give me a motivational speech to go have sex with my wife. It's just one of those things. Yeah. I yeah. probably just overshared, didn't I? Think maybe. Yeah. All right. It's but Californian, anyway, you know, it, is, it happens. It happens. <laughs> but, but, but then the last three are time, money, and fear. Right. I don't have enough time, I don't have enough money, I'm scared. Yeah. And each one of those, it's just about, once you've identified what the obstacle is, there are strategies you can find to help you manage your time, strategies to help you master money, strategies to help you deal with fear. And one of them is just what we've talked about on these, these, um, the, these, these things, about just recognizing that you're never afraid of what you think you're afraid of, you're afraid of what you think. Now here's the, the key to this all, is 
none of this could actually stop you. See, the difference between an obstacle and an excuse is an obstacle, if you really want to get where you want to go, you will find a way over, around, through yeah. the obstacle. It might take you a bit longer, but you'll get there. If it's an excuse, you're never going to get there because yeah. you're just looking for an excuse. It's a reason not to. And so the one thing that I would always encourage people is to just be aware when, when, when you ask yourself what stops you. Is this an obstacle, in which case there's going to be a hundred things you can do to overcome it, or is this an excuse because I don't really want to do it in the first yeah. place? In which case, cut yourself some slack. Don't do it. Brilliant. That's a great place to end. Okay. Thanks, Michael. Pleasure. So I guess ask yourself if there's something you want to do and you haven't done it yet, what stops you? And is your answer an obstacle or is it an excuse? Have some fun and we'll see you again soon.